name is Cole Sternberg and I'm going to take you guys on a little tour of what I'm working on in my studio. Um, I think over the course of the last few years my work's you know, changed to a degree. I started with just these photos of light moving and I just found them really interesting and thought one day, oh maybe I should you know, paint this. So for a good three or four years, it was just heavy oil, messy night scenes. Um, then one day it sort of progressed from that to a little more abstract application of oil, but still all, all oil. And then I started integrating more and more text, and then it became more about the text than the, than the paint. And I just started you know, trying new things, and then spray paint came into play, and then the water came in, watercolor came into play, and now it's just a mishmash of everything. <laughs> Okay, what I'm working on right now is a museum show for the American University Museum. The name of the show is, and those who were dancing were thought to be insane by those who could not hear the music, which is a Nietzsche quote about sort of self-awareness and community awareness. So every painting in this show is related to human rights and sort of the flaws in international law that prevent us from really, you know, helping better the world and, you know, we still have genocide occurring everywhere and sexual slavery and all these horrible things. So. You know, I used to be a lawyer and my base of knowledge is a lot in international law and this stuff just bothers me a lot so that's, that's what the show is about. So this one took me a really long time to produce just because of the sheer volume of text and it's about sort of technology and technology's influence on political issues. It says four minutes and it's called four minutes because this is four minutes of statements on Twitter about Iran um, and the elections and you know it's just so interesting that in just that little bit of time it was literally 40 pages you know of comments so I was just fascinated by the idea of does this new kind of technology help you know human rights issues like the right to vote or not this piece is about Congo and Africa and the, these are the UN logo you know, in the wrong color and red because it's, it's meant to be really dark. Because with, with Congo, you have this situation where the UN decided to take all these war criminals and basically put them in power to resolve what was going on there and just didn't really make sense. Five million people have died there um, as a result of these, you know, this war. Well, the Kinsey DeFord show was a selection of new works painted in the last year and a half or so. Um, a half watercolor like these and half um, very heavy oil. Uh, it, was pretty, you know, it was pretty fun. The themes were widespread in that show from this sort of stuff that's more about political issues to Hunter Thompson to you know, a song by Jay-Z. So it was like this whole range of, range of works. Yeah, I mean, Living in Los Angeles really does influence my art. I mean, a lot of my pieces from a couple of recent shows are all about this weird celebrity-centric society that we live in, and sort of the fakeness of Hollywood and all that, and how Hollywood's perceived versus how it actually is. Um, and that sort of perception kind of is the same in politics, like how, how the government's perceived and how the U.S. is perceived within the U.S. versus you know, the rest of the world. So there's this sort of fakeness in LA that's duplicated on a broader scale in the international pieces. So yeah, I mean, for sure LA plays a major role in that. Well, LA's art scene seems dramatically different than other places I've been, like, like a New York or a Berlin or London even, uh, just because it's spread out like everything in LA. You know, you have this great city, but it's spread out over 25 miles. So. You know, artists, you don't really have these real enclaves of artists like you have in other places or like a cool bar like the Cedar Tavern or something back in the day in New York where all artists would go. It's spread out and the galleries are the same way. I mean, you have downtown LA galleries, Culver City galleries, Beverly Hills galleries, you know, wherever, Silver Lake galleries. So you don't even have, a, you know, one real place where you can find everything like Chelsea in New York. Um, so that's the difference, I think. I think some of the best artists in the world live here but they're more in their own worlds than, than in other towns.